All right, let's build some fancy little custom tunnel thing. I don't really want to get anyone in trouble for what happened. I just could not care less. I think by the end of that, most of my player base didn't really care anyway, so. Excuse me, um, squad. Just like, okay, whatever, GG. I get Era was bored out of their minds, so, you know. Now, I gotta build... I'm thinking I'll build an interior of this. We'll probably put it right here and make some sort of custom compound, but I have to build two versions of it. So I'm going to build the skeleton of it first. And I have to import it from a different area. I'm just debating how I'm going to do this. Got to build some sci-fi bullshit. Okay. Cool. I don't know. Like, I, I had to send the footage to some admins and blah, blah, blah. And I literally told them, like, I don't want anything to become of this. I don't care enough to do anything like that. It's more so I just want to know why we had a fucking airstrike land by us. Like, I get Platts was unconscious. That's why I asked. Like, hey, did another squad call it? Like, cool. There's nothing I wouldn't have been able to know because my forward observers down but like why like if, if so who called it so I could then go okay well you know to highlight another issue of the operation itself but uh, you know we just got completely fucked but I mean if they're gonna let air dick around I mean not surprised but it's not my place to tell them how to do their fucking job so I'm just here to play video games on the internet I don't like it. We're going to go put this in the debug corner instead. This is going to be our gateway to it. So, let's get Let me turn up. that off. This is going to be our platform. Uh, let's lower that slightly. I'm going to go rip the seamless teleporter script out and run that. Hey, Barb. I hope I didn't sound too salty over then. I probably did, though, because everyone in my squad was just kind of checked out by the end of it. But, like, I don't know why Air just... I just why, why does Air drop bombs on us, you know? You have work? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this is the time travel op, so I got to get a seamless teleporter script working. Which I gotta, I guess I'll rip that tomorrow from uh, a different thing and then get it tested. I'm gonna move that over here for some internal if I wanna use it. But yeah, I wanna, I'm just gonna squad lead a little more often, TMTM, just so I can get my name out there. Yeah, I mean, literally, like, I had to send the clip to a few admins, and it clearly shows Wizard bombing us, but it's like, eh, you know, I'd... I've seen so much, but I, I got the same exact vibes, not to the same degree, like, to a very slight, I want to say, like, a tenth 
Ascendant of the degree that I got from six. CCO7 of now. just being there, just I exasperated. Mean, based on the videos of yours, I've seen it's like, Air has fuck. a very consistent record of messing up chords and hitting friendlies. See, gamer, I agree with that. And if it was an accident, whoop. If it was an accident, I wouldn't be pissed about it. I'd go, okay, you know what happened. But that was literally air dicking around for 30 minutes and then dropping a bomb on us. Um, which I assumed it was because of the Marid marker. But I deleted that marker literally like a minute beforehand. So there was nothing for them to target, you know, if the marker disappeared. So it's like, why? Like, why was that bomb dropped? Why did it hit my squad? Like, that's what I want to know. Yeah, I know the cast net was hell, but there was there was no reason for them to drop that bomb. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome shot. So it's like, why? That's what bugs me. Like, again, I'm not going to kick up stink about because I've had worse, and I have better things to do, to be honest, than go vindictive and hunt someone down. That's... I don't mean to sound like an elitist, but that's kind of beneath me. I... It's... Fucking people want to do that on the internet, feel free. I don't give a shit. I'm just here to have fun. And catch a few memes and TM, TM ops to then, you know, deploy to everyone else, but... <sighs> it's... it's annoying. How do I not have... Oh, because you're looking up ca tents instead of camo nets. go yeah so we still are gonna get those lines there that's fine I'm gonna line it up with this we're gonna have some stuff over that's fine and then I'll uh, shape it based off of what I get out here but here's the thing. I'm never af I, I will never ever. Uh, Will, you can watch it if you want. I really don't care. I don't think I'm gonna get to making the entire thing tonight. I'm just gonna be building a lot of uh, just the plot area and shit. But like, I'm I'm never gonna go after anyone for a single action they did because everyone makes mistakes. Even even if it kills a squad, it, so what? Who gives a fuck? It's a game. I just want to make sure that the guys under my command have fun because that's my job. And getting struck by friendly air is, uh, not fun. <laughs> but, you know, I, don't, I don't give a shit. I already have, literally, I just stepped away from administrative stuff in TSB. So I'm not going to go fucking into another community and start dealing with that shit. Fuck that. It's not my style. I want the curved one. Like, the curved one right here would actually be really, really good. So let me just try camo and see if I can get the vanilla ones to come up. Um, Scully, do exclamation point Discord. There's a channel in there after you click on an Arma tag to, um, you can then join TSB's Discord, and that's where I Zeus most of my ops. I'm in the process of getting all of the communities I work with to post adverts in there and... Most of them you'll be able to play an op of mine. Yadi da. Okay. I could also set up this across, but I'm just going to run into the same issue. Just need the damn curved one. There we go. Not a digital. Could I do a green? Sweet. Nope. Fuck. It'd be cool if I could fit this all in one texture. I don't think I'm gonna be. Send in goat teams. I could actually just yeah. align it like that, and then you know there'll be a few holes. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Makes it easier. Get good. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I will do my guess best to try to get good, but I don't have any promises. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Yeah, that kind of blocks that off, but that's fine. Yeah, so this will be our little, like, field area. Let me cut the grass in here.
Just hopped on. I have no idea what you're doing, but it looks fantastic. Is or fascinating? Squad arm armor three. Um, so let me ex actually explain the scenario. So this is part of a campaign for a group called the Bleach Boys. Uh, they are a casual group that um, plays in a Milson style structure. Seven so they're what would be considered a casual Milson because they still have structure within their ops that follows a you know Milson standpoint, but they're still a casual group of players. So they don't address themselves by ranks. They uh, you know they're, they have fun like most groups out in TS. Um, excuse me, uh, Arma Three. This is save, and I almost just saved over that. So Operation Black Hole P Two to save, and I'm gonna open up the previous file so I can copy and paste the sci-fi gate I made. Uh, but this is a time traveler campaign. So their first mission, they assaulted an island and took the gate. Uh, the guy that made it, a German scientist who wants to start the Fourth Reich, he ran through the gate. And now they're going to follow him through. And uh, we're going to start a, probably like a four or five mission. Technically, we already started the campaign. But, you know, another four or five missions actually get it done. So, uh, you know, just one of the 20 missions I have to make. That's a lie. I only have to make eight. And the rabbits ran through it. Yes, that's going to be an Easter egg for uh, later. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's go ahead and copy that scenario open. But yeah, a lot of my content is just making and running these scenarios for people that want them. Because why not? And I apologize that I sound tired. It's nearly 1 a.m. My coffee bin just slowly starting to die off because it all kind of degraded during TMTM. But, you know, shit happens. Imagine being tired. Yeah, right. And my load times take forever because I have so many different missions. But yeah, let me um, let me go over things. So Friday will be Bleach Boys, Time Travelers. Uh, Sunday, I'm going to take... I already told Patches this and he approved of it because normally I don't like idea sniping. But uh, I'm going to take his uh, Black Hawk Down style scenario and I'm going to apply it on like a public op perspective in the a CSAT Pacific campaign I'm working on. So it's going to be squads that got stranded getting swarmed by insurgents and then another group is gonna have to rescue them to bolster their own force and it's gonna be scalable too which is always a plus because i don't know how many people are gonna show up for those uh, and i'm only gonna run one up on sundays now this is so i can play in a barbarian leia and sparky's op that starts at 10 because normally my slot would start at noon i wouldn't be able to make that early slot because I, I did a few times but it would always i'd have to leave early because it would cut into that slot so i push that slot back to 130 and i'm no longer doing the t3 op because t3s don't exist anymore uh because i stepped down that's a whole uh other debacle but monday we're still gonna do two ops we're gonna finish the fallout op and then i don't know what i'm gonna do for a meme op this week uh, i I don't fucking know. Maybe something with Vietnam and Tigers. Don't know yet. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to start a Blood Diamonds campaign on Sierra Leone because fuck it. It sounded cool. Wednesday, we're going to just uh, do difficult ops like uh, the previous Halo one. I'm just going to make sure they're scalable, though. I'm probably going to do a Vietnam op. I don't know yet. Uh, I'll probably make it to life because Vietnam can be a little difficult to work with in terms of uh, insta-kill and shit. Uh, Thursday, I'm back at Paw Patrol. I gave them a list of three or four different campaign ideas, and whichever one they vote for by, I guess, tomorrow morning, I'll start making. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then Wednesday, I now host weekly at the 506 because Cherry, the other zoo, stepped down because um, he was running out of ideas. So I'm going to alternate running the um, New Horizons D&D-style apocalyptic campaign and a realism campaign because I am not running New Horizons every week. That has way too much fucking work that goes into it because it's literally Dungeons and Dragons in Arma 3. And I don't feel like dealing with that shit. No offense, but it if I don't rush it, then it's gonna suck. Oh, right, and I have to remove thick Omni-Man texture out of this thing. Where is it? I, I'm gonna be able to see it. There it is. All right, let's let's uh, let's get rid of you, Mr. User Texture get rid of this 
get rid of that. You, I'm going to template over there. Um, I want them to be able to walk through it this time because that's how the script's going to work. So what I'm actually going to do is let's separate... Wait, what did I delete? Okay, I deleted that on accident. Um, I think just by removing that bottom texture will be fine. I need to move you because you're plot relevant for later. And then I can remove these. So I got to move this ramp in here and then make like a dilapidated version in the place I'm building now. So, And then I need to add a little bit of room. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the script down behind it for the uh, seamless teleport. So I actually need to lower this bunker to ground level as best I can because that thing does have issues referencing the Z-plane, uh, which is up and down. Um, so I'm going to lower this just until we hit the ground there. So this is kind of painful because that the reference point is right there. So let's up this slightly. This is actually perfect. There's a little bit of clipping right here, but we won't focus on that. And then this will be the spawn room. And then I can get that seamless teleporter to work, which great. So plot relevant stuff right there. And then we need to build like a dilapidated version of this thing over here. So what I'm thinking is I need barriers made out of like well, no, concrete existed back then. So that would be perfectly doable. I'm just trying to see if I have, like, a different colored concrete. Because it wouldn't be colored. It would be regular. So we can do plain concrete barriers. Um, These ones are a little bit longer, which is fine. I think I could do this. Let me just get rid of all these. And then if I'm wrong, I can just, you know, control Z everything and reset it. Let's set it by a factor of 15. Get that interface back up because that was a mistype. And if we kind of connect them, maybe... Let's see if I can find shorter ones. I mean, we could just do unmarked. Yeah, that would be better. And it's like a little dilapidated too. And then we just do the same 15 side texture. It's perfect. I think they're on degrees of 30. Actually, if I just do this. Make it easier. I just got to make sure I don't grab the wrong reference point here. that when a reference point glitches out because your angle is wonky. I can actually stretch this out a little bit. Oh, fuck me. It's a little more poorly constructed, which I'm actually perfectly happy with. 
Now the question is, is it going to fit in there? <laughs> I need it to be destroyable. And I need like a wooden ramp of some sort. Or I could do a slight concrete curve. Here, now let me execute that when I want to realign it. All right, let's grab a ramp. So my fear here is that when the seamless teleport puts him in, it'll put him in the concrete. So that's something I am going to have to do a little bit of testing on, but for now, this is actually pretty good. Uh, it's not a Stargate. It's just meant to be um, like a time travel port. I'll be right one second. When I take coffee, I'll probably get some coffee. That's going to be pretty cheap. Sorry about that. That uh, was fine. What's that? Just lawn so, boring, well you know? Me, I could XNL, but it also depends how much I want to reverse engineer the script to my own needs, should I need to. Yeah, there's enough room for like a tank to go through. I'm thinking we're going to have everyone dead here. I'm just trying to think. There's going to have to be a lot of testing for me to determine what I actually uh, put on that area. But I like where this is going, so... With that, I'm not going to build anything else. I am just going to do kit bashing. So I need... If they're all going to be custom...
Give me a rifleman. Let's actually see what we have in the arsenals again. Sort by mod. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll have our standard, like, German World War II troops, but I'm thinking I'll give the SS guys, like, you know, advanced guns from the scientist. But the question is going to become how advanced are we going to get? Because I think the most futuristic I'm going to get is, like, you know, G36s and shit. Just trying to see if I have any, like, sci-fi style shit. Do they have any arms? No, they do not. Because <laughs> I was going to give Han Solo fucking blaster pistols then. Oh, they got the camera mod. That's cute. <clears throat> We do have the melee mod as well. We can do like tech nines too. Or at least the MP7. Yeah. That would be good. Launchers, yeah. Because we have all the advanced ones too. The Bunker Foss, Panzer Foss, yeah. I could actually have this campaign go on for a very long time, to be honest. I need to spawn a squad of SS just so I can see what they look like. I'm not going to build it directly on the units because I'm worried about custom scripts running because that screwed up one of my ops recently. Uh, Halo one, actually, so it just reminded me not to build on stuff like that. I know a corporation has some... Uh, let me actually spawn a few of those guys. Because I'm thinking we'll go into like some full like Wolfenstein shit. With the uh, little stuff I have, but you know, they're like the red gas masks for like some kill units. That'd be pretty dope. We could do G11s as well, because <laughs> that was a prototype gun. I mean, yeah, fuck it. And then we could also do like WA2000s if we have them in this mod pack, but I'm not sure if we do. Uh, again, a lot of ways we could go with this. It's definitely going to require quite a few hours of dev work. Because why not? God, that's not what I want. I could just take Vermont and uh, dig through all this shit, because I know there's some good uniforms here. It'd be like Wafton or something. From the IFA mod, so I can use that. Sim These are drivable? Oh. Neat. Yeah, so I think it's just part of the Fairmocht, so I'll, uh... Let me build some base kits, then. Let's do, uh... We'll do the 80s, guys, because I know GM doesn't have anything scripted on it tied to individual infantry. Uh, so let's get rid of everything. We go from there. Wait, he's not a... He's a radio man, which actually radio men would still be a thing, so I'll keep him on the side for now. He's looking for riflemen. There we go. Stormtroopers are my SS boys? Okay. Yeah, all right. I know what they wear, though, so it's fine. My coffee is uh, definitely starting to fade on me. I'm going to just sort by mod, and then I look on IFA. We 
and do M42. ST, yeah, so these guys. We'll give them that distinct camo as well. No, we'll do we'll do that one. That's a little more to my liking. Oh yeah, battle dress uniform has two S's. Wee woo, that's gonna it's gonna fuck ya. Something like that, but I know there's a certain uniform because I made these kits in um what you call it in the fucking. Uh, one of the MCOs. So I'm debating, though, do I want to do, like, something a little more official? I have no idea what some of these words mean, but... Yeah, no, so it would be that, spring. Yeah, average. Standard rifleman there, clear his inventory. Oh, I, I know, Willow. Don't worry, I'm gonna make some bullshit kits just for you. For example, what's some good body armor? I don't want to do mag pouches, though. And if they are mag pouches, then I want them to be something that fits easily. So, like, no 556 five, pouches. So, this is a decent option. Let's look. So that's all VC stuff. It's not going to have any body armor. But yeah, that stuff at the bottom can be nice. We can also do that, but it kind of clips. Plus, I... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. A little bit of clipping, but it fits the back perfectly. It's got higher ballistic protection. So what was that? M6? Yeah, so BVM slash 16. Not bad. I would want something intimidating, like a full fuck off body. I could get it without the mag pouches. Then again, I don't think the Bleach Boys care too much about aesthetics, so I don't mind. Oh, oh, oh. But it has low armor rating. I want it to be high armor on purpose because yeah, it's the lowest one out of the choices. Because these guys are supposed to be the SS, so they're supposed to be like, you know, but like super SS. Super SS. Great looking, but it has no fucking armor value. You know, something that doesn't clip like shit, you know? Like, some of these clip a little too hard. These are nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I'm, I, yeah, there's no clipping either. I'm done searching. We're going with this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then there's a second one I want to build here. Um, real quick, what's your what's your mask? Combat helmet black. So what, is it a custom face wear then? Mm. 
Is it NVGs? Ah, it's NVGs. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna want something all black then. Like, fully Wolfenstein that bitch. Preferably black and red, but I'll take anything. Uh, let me get rid of this body armor for a second. I would honestly prefer the Viper undersuit over everything. Just retextured as a black thing. The BDU also wouldn't be too, too bad. Field service uniform with a high load and a little bit of body armor underneath. I mean, it's, it's not a bad choice. Recon fatigues. Let's go with that... Um, yeah, that with the higher load. Yeah, I know it. Ha uh, the GM mod has, uh, or CDLC technically has the flak vests, but... Again, it's low body armor, so I don't want to deal with it because some of this you got a meta. Okay, Z S H one. It's the one I'm liking so far. We could also do an Alton's. Hopefully, I would prefer without that little blast shield though. K six also wouldn't be too bad. So something like that. <laughs> if you don't mind the clipping, that's actually kind of terrifying. full body armor. See, I don't mind if these guys have the 5.56 five, mag pouches because these are going to be the guys with the really fun shit. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have the British flag, though. Little bit of clipping, but that's fine. Sacrifices ballistic for explosive, and it weighs a lot less. Weight is actually really important for um, elite units because it does affect weapon sway. I think I like this one, though, the most. It's not heavy. It's still half the weight of this one, but it just kind of bulks in with everything right there. I know, right? Combine from Half-Life. I'm trying to make some, like, really scary super shit.
I still love how it's the freaking submachine gun symbol. It's uh it's the mini potato cannon. See, that's nice, but it oh wait, no, he actually doesn't have the pistol pouch, so I could do something like that. I mean at that point I'd do an MP7 with a single 40 round mag because fuck you. Let's put something dumb on it. Too dumb. Sightless. Do we have a G11? Actually, I don't think this mod set has a G11. Yeah, no, it would be under 11. That's fine. My backup is a P90. But this is supposed to be like the frickin' kill everyone sort of kit. Then again, I would probably just give him the best machine gun in the game. <laughs> Those things are just nasty. But that, that fits the vibe. Would be a WA two thousand. I don't think we have that in. Okay. Do have a spaz. One of the forts, too. What caliber is this again? Yeah, only 5.56. Five, I'd want something... nasty. Like, incredibly fucking nasty for these guys. I gotta make a few different versions, though. Oh, my God. That's only a 9 mil, though, right? 65 by 25, yeah, it's... Basically, I'm looking for something that'll kill people. Like, <laughs> just fucking murk the shit out of someone. Because that's the goal of these units. I mean, that futuristic-looking P90, though. The P90S. Mm. Or you could go fucking grots on him. I want to do something, like, fancy, though. Something that I wouldn't do in any other place, you know, because I'd have access to shit. Havers. Ooh. I mean, 
if you want people dead, that would be a good option. I don't want to go full on Russian here, though. I want to go, like, just exotic. I think as a general battle rifle, this will be good. I'm not going to do a secondary. This is just going to be my fuck you weapon. 50 rounds, it looks cool. And then I can put like a stupid sight on the top. You know exactly what I'm going to go for. But it makes sense because, you know, if he has the have that lens go with that lens, but it's also a red topped scope for this thing. I mean, that that to me works. Now, one thing I want to do here is what if I do. No, it doesn't clip the way I want it. Balaclava. No, let's keep the. Oh, so you can put it in there. Actually, no, I want the night vision version because that'll give him NVG. So instead, let's um. that too because it covers his face fully neat and it gives him gloves me likey a latte these are crowd control units man people you call to get shit done. I love it. Every time I build custom units, I usually come up with this own little silly, stupid backstory for them. So I would need crowd control stuff for these guys. That would be stun grenades, gas grenades, Nine banners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, come on. I thought I could have sworn the... Whatchamacallit? The SOG Prairie Fire DLC had some sort of gas grenade. There it is. Did I give them a what? Let's stick with ace ones, because I know those will fuck with them too, but... No lethals, though. These guys are meant to be asshole units. All right. I'm going to wrap it up here because I can feel my coffee crash starting to start. So we'll be back tomorrow morning and I'll keep devving. So thanks so much for watching. Cooperate operation. So, Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers and uh, have a good one.